A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight by all that you hold dear on this good earth. I bid you stand, men of the West! Hello, everybody. I'm the Last Pretender, and uh, we're here with our redemption series for MA, MA Man. Uh, we're on turn number uh, 66. We just had a big battle, uh, a couple big, couple important battles to retake our thrones, and uh, yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can we can hold them against the uh, the forces of Ulm. So you can see we got the living castle up, so that's pretty swell. We summoned another flame spirit, and uh, Ulm is moving once more to uh, to to harass us. You can see he sent some super boys. Uh, here's here's again his king of of, uh, of deeper earth hanging around. Uh, he's got himself a couple of Tartarians. That are uh, pretty heavily geared and uh, yeah we can see he's doing this spamming out some deuterinos and that's just how it's gonna be uh, and unfortunately uh, my guys are just not gonna be able to beat the super combats jeez what what weapon do you have Oh, you've got the uh, the shadow brand. Okay, yeah. Um, and you can see that he's going to tear into that. So there goes our, our uh, province defense, and uh, our temp our our throne is once again under siege. More raiding going on by uh, by Naba. He tells me he loses troops. I don't know how true that is. Um, over here, we've got end uh, messing around with all a little bit. Um, over here, we've got some more shenanigans going on. This time, the Tartarian goes down, but, you know, this is just a, a, a province defense trap. <sighs> this is his, uh... Oh, never mind. I was thinking that was going to be his Hydromancer. But, um, it's not. Instead, what it is, is it's one of my monks got caught and killed. Uh, we had a couple of unexpected events that don't mean a lot, except for this not going to make me any money, which is awesome. Um, we're under siege... Uh, we've really fucked up this fort right here and uh, Bandar Log is finally forever dead as uh, fate is the uh, the sailor boys have killed him. Uh, that was where my, my monk was. So this is almost dead. So that's great news. You can see we've got a big fat army here and we're going to start moving these troopers uh, on over to here. In here, we're going to go ahead and try and break the siege. So let's go ahead and take a look at the army here. So we've got Aerofend. Uh, we're going to cast Ravenous Swarm. Now, the reason we're going to cast Ravenous Swarm is we don't have any undead, and he's got Tartarians. So, my Ravenous Swarm is going to eat at those guys, so that's going to be nice. Uh, lots of Thunder Strikes, Howl, um, Lightning Bolt, Serpent's Blessing, Mass Protection, Charm, Thunder Strike, Thunder Strike, some Frozen Hearts, um, which I think will actually hurt his Earth King. I actually don't think they hurt anything else but the Earth King. I'm not sure. I'd have to double check. Um, it doesn't affect inanimates, but I don't think the, the Deeper Earth King or whatever he's called. I don't think he's inanimate, and I don't think he has Frost Resist, but he might. We'll take a look at him. But, uh, some Thunder Strikes, uh, gets in some Frost Fend up, at least to help with the, the Eddie issue. More Thunder Strikes. Thunder Strikes very good, and he didn't have sufficient, um, Shock Resist to realistically deal with that. Master and Slave. Um, we're not going to do it. We're not going to send her out this turn. Instead, so she's going to forge me like a, a skull staff or whatever, I think. Um, no. I'm not sure what she's forging. But, uh, Frozen Heart, Thunderstrike, Charm, Fire Fend, and, uh, some Weapons of Sharpness. So, pretty much your standardy kind of stuff. You know, Fog Warriors being the big one along with Mass Regeneration. So, hopefully we'll be able to just beat these guys back. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We're also going to take this army and send them in to go ahead and prepare our ultimate invasion of Ulm itself. Uh, this army is going to move this way 
probably to go fight here at the throne. Uh, that's probably going to be a necessary endeavor. So, my little wimpy army from Satis is going to join up with the um, with the Night's Watch. And we'll see how that goes. Forging more water lenses, more water bracelets, all good stuff. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. We did. Uh, we did get. Oh, the Soul Stone of Wolves. I was trying to remember what the Soul Stone was. I was like, what was I getting? A Soul Stone of Wolves. So the reason I'm getting this is because it's free spawn, right? I can just summon a bunch of wolves as much as I want. I can raid really easy with this item, and it's not going to cost me any further gems. Um, I mean, it did cost me 60 gems to do it, but still a pretty good, pretty good item. That I'm pretty happy to keep with me. So I'm going to start trying to get as much out of that as I can. Um, by summoning a whole bunch of wolves. I'm going to start summoning them right here I believe. Or no. I'm actually going to start uh, by summoning them in his provinces. To kind of harass him a little bit. See how that goes. Uh, we're going to forge us um, I believe the Tomb of Higher Power. Uh, first. So that way we can have that plus one to air magic. Which would be nice. Um, doing some more research there. Lots of research. Forging items, Moonbind bracelets and stuff. We are forging a Moonbind bracelet for our buddy Naba. Trying to keep him happy um, and on our team. Because, I mean, if a coalition forms against us, it involves Facia, Naba, and Vanheim, we kind of lose the game. Like, so, so keeping Naba happy uh, is, is really nice. Um, and I want to make him feel like he's a good and well-loved ally. So... Uh, I've got uh, Gunhild here. She's going to eventually, or Gunhild, I don't know. Uh, she's eventually going to build uh, a laboratory here, so that way I can recruit alchemists. But uh, money's sort of an issue at the moment, as our income uh, is pretty good at 4,000, but we need more. If we take a look at, uh, if we take a look at the global enchants, we're still sitting at kind of the same stuff as we were before. If we take a look at score graphs, we can see that our provinces are doing okay. Uh, we can see Naba is getting a huge spike in provinces. Uh, he's getting a lot of stuff from raiding, and Ulma's just not sent any armies against him. Uh, Ulma's just doing a little bit of counter-harassing kind of stuff. Um, but me and Naba are going to have a serious conversation about this at some point in time. Um, if ever this war with Ulm does end, and uh, we don't all die, which... You know, it would be good if that happened. Um, uh, because Naba just can't... Naba, you don't get to just increase your army by... Your, your province by... By 50%. Um, and not have to fight any battles. Come on, Naba. That'd be silly. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, for now, uh, everybody's kind of hanging around here. I'm moving out Varric. He's coming with. Uh, you can see this whole army's getting moved around. We got some gym mules happening. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Got some liches that we can feel really nice about. Continuing to try and get our research going. Now that we've got Construction 8, we're forging lots of good stuff. Uh, running of Alteration, which is good. Uh, we're not as concerned about research at this point in time now that we've got Alteration up. And, yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on for turn 66 don't see a lot else that I realistically am doing. These guys are basically just going to break this siege and then this army is going to pull on in. And we're going to have these two armies push against Ulm. And see how that goes. So let's just go ahead and hop on over to turn number 67. Turn 67. Bada bing. Bow. So. Um, he's casting Shatter. <laughs> Killing a bunch of poor people. Um, so, you know, he killed 10 dudes with Shatter. Or not Shatter. What's it called? I forget. There, this is a spell, and I don't remember what it's called. I'll look at it in a second once I get the spell list up. But this is a spell that's designed to help you siege down. Um, that You spin a bunch of earth gems and it burns down the walls of a, of a castle much quicker. But whatever. We're casting Call of the Wild, which we love. Um... We've taken over a place with no resistance, so that's good. Um, we're being attacked somewhere. I Yeah, this is his Hydromancer. And so you can see now his Hydromancer has a ton of water gems. He's just dumped a, a whole bunch of water gems into there. Um, and boom, there go, there goes all this, so. Hooray! 
I mean, I guess he wasn't using any his water gems for anything else. But... Alright. My poor fire uh, guy tried to stop it. But I think he dies. Yeah, my poor flame spirit's gonna die. Oh no, he's, he runs away. Alright, well. Could have been worse. I think he gets away too. Retreat details? Yeah, he successfully retreated. So that's good. So he didn't actually die. Um, so A for effort for him. Now, this over here is the battle over our throne. Um, we got everybody good and lined up. And these are his, just his SCs, really. So get ready, we're going to cast a whole bunch of spells. I'm kind of losing faith in Howl, to be honest with you. Let me take a look at you, by the way. So you're not, you're not inanimate. You're not inanimate. You are not inanimate. Huh. I didn't realize that that actually affected you as well. He does take a little bit of shock damage. Interesting. Um, you are not inanimate. So cold, so, so frozen heart should hit you. Um. And you can see right here, Ravenous Swarm is right on top of his, uh, his, uh, his guy. And he's going to start casting, uh, Earthquakes. And I do lose one or two people because Fog Warriors is not up yet. So I do lose a couple people. Anyway, we're going to surround him. And eventually my army does surround and just absolutely fucking smoke his, uh, his guy. You can see they're hitting him with good damage because they have uh, weapons of sharpness. So you can see like, this is a good example. So you can see, uh, so he, he, there's a repel sort of thing and he takes a swing at him and he halves uh, the deeper earth kings. Um, he halves the deeper earth kings uh, armor, right? Which is really, really helpful. Um, that of which is going to get some some damage in. Again, you can see right here as well, like uh, you know, just absolutely minimizing the deeper uh, Earth Kings, King of Deeper Earths uh, protection, because he's got the sweet sweet weapons of sharpness. Uh, meanwhile, over here, you can see a similar kind of story unfolding. Um, this dude is just going to get mobbed as well, and you can see that these guys. Like, this guy has weapons of sharpness, so. So let's watch a little bit. And you can see that uh, he's taking a lot of damage from Ravenous Worm, but he's, he's staying alive. He's got good regeneration enough to where he's really not getting through that much. He killed my Yetis, hey. Now you'll see that he did get uh he, he is retreating now. He's very unhappy. Um and you can see that this guy actually got charmed. This guy actually got charmed, so now he's on my team. So that's pretty cool. Still taking a lot of damage. And uh eventually he does go down. I think like this guy kills him or something. One of you. No. Probably this guy actually. Uh no. What? Is it you? Are you the big, the big bad killer? I don't know what happened. Uh, let's take a look. What got him? So yeah, you can see I did lose a couple of people. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, I killed a deep earth king. That's right. Uh, I did lose a couple people to earthquake, which is sort of unfortunate, but not like a ton. Like not, not, not so much that it's like a huge issue, but it is a little irksome. All right, there's some more I lost. Ah, that's a good bit actually. That's a few too many. Um, but you. What killed you? Yeah, some knight of Avalon hit him with a broadsword. And again, because he's got that, uh, those weapons of sharpness really doing lots of damage. So, we knocked out uh, his super combatants on top of my, my province. We did lose six mages, which hurts. 
But hey, hey, we got ourselves a, a Tartarian. So, and a good one, an Earth one. So, uh, some random events happened. Um, some province resources increased, which okay. Uh, some little bit better income, which is nice. We've got an upcoming arena going on. Uh, my monk got killed, which is sad. Uh, we've uh, we've breached the fortress uh, that we were sieging with the Night's Watch. And uh, Jotunheim has finally been killed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and storm the castle with the Night's Watch here, while we're gonna continue to gather up the rest of this army to move to go march on uh, this province right here. Then we've got uh, these armies, which are all gonna go meet right here. Now I'm a little hesitant to go into this province because of the fact that he's got Earthquake going, right? He's got Earthquake going. I'm not really casting it fast enough. Uh, so the good thing is though, is that whenever he casts Earthquake, he's been casting Summon Earthen Power followed up by, um, followed up by, uh, by Earthquake, right? So that actually is gonna extend the time. So the problem I would normally have is if I cast just Mass Flight right away, the problem I would normally have would be that um, my guys are spell singers. And spell singer is usually pretty good because it actually reduces the amount of fatigue that of which a spell generates. But it, and, it, and it obviously lets you do communions. The problem is, is you cast slower. And so earthquake, just an insta earthquake cast would beat an insta mass flight. Um, but because he's doing summon earth power, if I just do earthquake right away, if I just do uh, mass flight right away, it'll beat his earthquake. Um, so I'm pretty sure somewhere I have somebody casting that. Yeah, you're forging a winged helmet and you're going to do that. I'm not worried that he's going to come move out to here. If he does, hey, so be it. I'll fight his army out here and I'll lose some, some guys to Earthquake. Um, but I'm not going to go into this. I'm not going to go into this cave until I have it. But once you have Mass Flight and Fog Warriors, if you can combo those on top of each other real fast, which I should be able to, um, now that I've got the the, the Tome of, of uh, Power or whatever. What's it called? The Tome of High Power. Combo that. Like, I should be able to just go, boom, Fog Warriors, boom, Mass Flight, before he's even able to get off a single Earthquake. And that basically is going to turn the casualties to zero for that. So that's my plan as far as that goes. If he just casts Insta Earthquake, I'd have a much bigger issue. Um, casting Call of the Wild again, doing it some more. Um, you can see here these guys are kind of running around being obnoxious. Uh, this is going to be tough to break through. This is a lot of forts, uh, even if I can win this battle. But, one step at a time. First, let's try not to die. Uh, we're forging... Um, one of the things we're forging right now is we're forging this, the Crown of the Ivy King. Um, which is going to be quite helpful, and we're going to go ahead and put it on Varric, because Varric already has Ivy Lord, and so with Ivy King, he's going to be able to summon even more Ivy Dudes, which would be very nice for us. We would really like that. So we're going to go ahead and clomp up those guys over there. We're going to take these dudes, and everybody's going to go ahead and pow over here to have a big, giant army that we're going to go to war with here. Not much else I can see going on. This army's going to go ahead and start to join up with the Night's Watch. This Atis army's going to join up with the Night's Watch. It's about all I got going on. He's got this Hydromancer, which is a pain in the butt. I don't think I have anything set up to stop him right now. And that is turn 67. So we're going kind of slow, but let's go ahead and hop on over to turn uh, 68. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. Okay. So, ah, important thing that happened. Uh, a couple things. So, Dome of Arcane Warding is going to get cast by Grace Kelly, right, to stop shenanigans from happening. Um, so that you can't just spam on my, my throne or whatever and be a pain in the booty. Um, my, one of my liches, I go ahead and empower him in air. An expensive maneuver, but a necessary one. Uh, because now with one level in air magic, he can cast Wailing Wind, which is pretty nice. Uh, we're casting Call of the Wild. Um... Let's take a look at some battles. I don't think anything particularly important happens. 
Uh, this dude gets freaking murderified. This is the army that he's got going on. Lots of uh, lots of these clock clockwork horrors. Um, these uh, these uh, queen of the clouds. Um, so yeah, this is his army. Um, you can see he's casting uh, strength of giants and stuff. Uh, and tempering will is gonna start coming out. Uh, over here, is there a battle here that's worth a darn? Um, hmm. It looks like. Oh yeah, this is my little raiding force that just gets chopped up, which is too bad. I think they were just um, they were trying to sneak and they got found, which is too bad for them. Uh, we got some more gin shenanigans going on. Um, what's he doing with these? Is he super combating these? Or like heavy thug? Uh, looks like it, yeah. Looks like it indeed. So, what's he doing? Mist form, iron skin, phoenix pyre, all the classics, yeah. Um, so, that's what he's doing. Question, what's this magic resist at? I know it's a stupid elf, so it's probably a million. 19? Jesus. And that's with no magic resist items. Hate elves. Alright, it's fine. Um, because he's our ally. Uh, I don't even know what's happening here. Oh yeah, this is my big army that just came in and just took a little province. There's so nothing interesting going on there. Um, this is me retaking a province. This is him taking another province. So yeah, that's unfortunate. I think that's where my throne is, but again, his Hydromancer is just being a pain. Um, and this is our battle that we had as we go ahead and invade. Take the colors off again. Um, as we go ahead and invade. You can see there's nothing here. So the Night's Watch. Again, we're going to lose some dudes. So we do lose a Mother of Avalon, which sucks. But we took a castle. So pretty cool. Uh, lose some population. Awesome. Cool. The Forest of G Gila is just... Anyway, we find some stuff. That's pretty awesome. Wealthy merchant. rich. Gold to get rid of the affliction. <laughs> like this. Uh, do I help him? I don't know. Uh, some increase in taxes. So, so lots of money. Good stuff going on. Um, we did send our uh, Iron Angel to go fight in the arena. So let's go see how that worked. Um, we gave him this little guy. He's helpful. And he's got a, a, a gate cleaver. So he can just absolutely one shot stuff and he just sent like a little scout just in case so we are gonna win that um and uh we get uh, armor of virtue so we'll see how that goes in the meantime uh we go ahead and defend the the uh the forest of gila from this pain in the butt situation and that's kind of all that we got going on um this is just a, a patrol that we've sent to try and deal with this. It's not going to really work. This place is just going to be a nightmare zone for eternity. Um, we've got a pain in the butt guy right here. We're sending over, I believe, my Iron Angel to go retake this province. Even though it doesn't really matter because there's no money in it. And uh, this is just under siege. Kind of whatever. And you can see we're forming up our troops now that we've got everybody. Um, like we've got this lady. Who she's gonna like turn one cast fog warriors, which should go off like that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring in Grace Kelly because we're gonna pull out all the stops to take on the Minds of Despair and see how we can handle Ulm's primary army. So, uh, oh, apparently, I don't know. But this dude's gonna go ahead and sneak attack right here, see if he can take another province. We'll see how that goes. Again, Nabah is just having a field day, just running over Ulm which I'm very jealous of. Um, but, so it must go. We're going to do some preaching here. Uh, part of the reason we're doing some preaching here is we want to maintain, want to try and spread out our dominion as fast as we can because we want to have lots of magic. Um, high magic is actually going to reduce the magic resistance of our enemies, which is going to make uh, in Master and Slave even better. So, that's what we've got going on here. Is there anything else realistically going on? These dudes are going to patrol. Um, we're doing some research. 
starshine skull caps getting made over there forging some more water lenses and that sort of stuff and yeah i kind of think that's all that's going on let's hop on over to 69. Forlorn Hope, not 29, 69. Bang, okay. So, um, right here, a spell got hit, but we uh, we didn't care about it. So ha, take that. Uh, I wonder what spell that was. Hmm, it'd be weird if he cast the Shatter spell, whatever it's called on there. Maybe, maybe it was Flames from Afar or whatever, I don't know. But uh, Call of the Wild went swell. Lichcraft, Lake and Vineman. Varric's going to start casting that every turn because he's got the, the Crown of the Vinemen. I'll, I'll show that in a minute. Uh, again, we've got, I'm pretty sure this is a pain in the ass uh, uh, Hydromancer, I think, doing this. Uh, over here in Blackdale, we've got uh, my army trying to take on some province defense, and I think it loses. Yes, it does. Yep, there that goes. So, uh, our little raiding force was not successful, which is sad. Um, then we've got over here, we can see more gen things, but this time they get killed. Do they get killed? But they get sniped out by an archer? Is that what happened? Let's see what happened. Oh, they just ran past them. They're gonna walk up to him and just poke him. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. And these guys are just gonna dissipate. Wow. I can't believe they did it. And these guys, their commander's dead, isn't he? No, their commander's with them. One of these dudes is a commander? I don't think so. I don't really understand how this happens. There should be a commander here, or else they should be in route. But in any event, they did kill a gen. Uh, so that's unfortunate for our ally. Um, small C. This is us retaking with the uh, Iron Angel. Not a big deal. Um, some more gen die. So I guess he is losing some gins. And I don't really know how much these things cost, but looking at these stats, it must not be cheap. I, I bet this costs at least like 30, 30 fire gins or something. So, probably not cheap. So, he's losing some stuff. Uh, he did take... No, he didn't take this province. Huh, interesting. Alright, well, in any event, got some stuff going on here. Got ourselves a pocket boat. That's cool. Uh, some earth gems. Those are nice. Uh, she foresaw some major events, none of which are really that terribly helpful for us. We can see uh, nights happening. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of all that's going on. This turn is the turn that we're going to go ahead. Um, we turn 69, we're going to go ahead and you're going to get to see uh, another big battle. As um, we're going to go ahead and launch our invasion uh, into Ulm. Finally actually gaining ground. I guess uh, this this was actually Ulm's province. And, and, and a, a decent one. So, I mean, yeah, 92 income and a gym site. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and finally launch our invasion into the Ulmish lands. Uh, see if we can tear into Ulm itself. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah. We got this dude right here. He's going to be casting um, uh, he's going to be capping, casting Wailing Winds, which again, if you don't know, um, it's basically just, it just causes morale checks and just routes people's armies basically over time. Really good late game spell. Um, and so now I've got it. So now I'm a super cool guy. Uh, just as a reminder, because I did make this a while ago, uh, which is the, uh, the, the crown of the Ivy King. And so now I have Ivy Lord three on Varric. So Varric is just going to every turn. He's just going to be like, give me those vine men, boys. Just give me those vine men. That's all he's going to be doing with his day. Um, forging skull of the mentors are going to get made a lot. Some lightless lanterns are going to get made to try and get my research up a little bit. Cause at 1200, not that great. Um, would like to pump it up a little bit. And uh, now we've got this colossal army. And you can see kind of what it looks like. Everybody's all fanned out and everything like that. Um, arrow fins going down. Charm. Wind guide. Howl. Thunder strikes. Charms. Charms. Oh, yes. So at this point in time, I think his god might show up. 
and I happen to know, so here's my concern. My concern is, because I'm sending in Grace Kelly, and I would like Grace Kelly to get her spell off. My concern is, is that he might try to kill Grace Kelly with like uh, astral mages or something. So I'm sending in my own astral mages to cast Power of the Spheres Magic Duel to try and just burn down uh, any astral mages he might have. Um, because he also has those dog guys or whatever who can sometimes be astral. I think one in four of them are astral. Uh, so I'm right not to just get magic dueled and not be able to cast Master and Slave. So I'm sending in a bunch of astral mages to do this. Um, so that way I can try to get that spell off. I also know his god is astral because he has far casting and his bless. Far caster and his bless. And so because of that, I know that his god must be astral in some capacity. So uh, there's that going on. Uh, still casting Thunderfend. Um... So, Frozen Heart, Thunderstrike, Frozen Heart, Thunderstrike, Mass Flights is going to get cast in turn one, as will uh, Fog Warriors, but again, it's going to be a little bit slower because my guys are Spell Singers, but he's going to be casting Summon Earth and Power, so that should help us. Lots of Thunderstrikes, Frozen Hearts, more Thunderstrikes, Fog Warriors, there's the Master and Slave, Thunderstrikes, uh, some Weapons of Sharpness coming down, some Charms. Um, again, I don't think the personal luck saves you with magic duel, but I wasn't sure. Strength of Giants and Weapons of Sharpness, though. I think I should have just gone just straight Weapons of Sharpness. Master Generation turn one. Uh, Fire Fen. There's the Fog Warriors. So, yeah. Oh, and now we've got, uh, uh this, this guy. He's going to be coming along and he's going to be casting, like, Strength of Giants and, like, Maws of the Earth and stuff. Now, the reason he's going to be casting Maws of the Earth is specifically not because of the damage realistically but because it's magic damage and so that way I, the idea being is that if he spams it out a couple times it'll actually because he's going to be casting um fog warriors as well this will actually pop his fog warriors so that'll actually help our guys a lot although at the end of the day and then wailing winds of course at the end of the day like i think if i get off my spells like fog warriors and master generation i think i win this battle even without master and slave and if you cut out all my spells Except for Master and Slave, I think I win this battle. So uh, I was pretty hopeful going into this. But we'll see how uh, how my hope is treated. Um, again, Magic Duel kind of stuff. So yeah. There goes everybody. So yeah, this is my big push. We'll see how this goes. Um, I, I, I go to try and take this province. Uh, but I forgot to take off the uh, Armor of Virtue, which has returning on damage. So... <laughs> And I kind of told Naba that, like, this should be mine. And I kind of feel like it should. But I end up giving it to him anyway. I'm a very generous boy. And then I'm going to go take this throne right here. Um, but, yeah. So, that's the game. Um, golly, Naba just grew so fast. Like, I mean, just look at this. Look at the provinces. I mean, his provinces went up probably 30% in this war. Which... I find kind of frustrating. I'm kind of like, hey, dog, come on, man. <laughs> like, sharing is caring, man. Like, I have to fight these fucking nightmare battles. Um, and you can see Ulm is taking a huge hit in his income. My gym income is pretty pretty righteous, though. But And Nabob probably has a good gym income, too, now, because he's got the, the Eternal Pyre. But, anywho, so that's uh, everything I got going on. I'm not really sure there's much else I want to do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hop on over to turn 70. I, I, I just, I've given up. I've just given up that I'm not going to have 30 minute turns. I'm just bad. I'm bad, bad YouTuber. Turn 70. So. Let's take a look here. Uh, Vine Men, Call the Wild. Dire Portent, what is this? Oh. Uh, yeah. What spell does he cast? Well of Misery. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Phaeacia basically casts Well of Misery. Or Faye. The sailors cast Well of Misery, okay. Uh, doing a little bit of sight searching. Not gonna find anything. Uh, Bard does not succeed. Now we have a battle where they attack our throne. Look at this. Now, at around this time period, actually, um, I don't think it's this turn. But, uh, I think it is actually at around this time. Um, our, uh, our Ulm had, 
had to leave. Now, you know, interestingly enough, it did not look like he was going to survive the coalition. But, uh, whatever the reason, um, I believe some real world stuff came up. He, uh, he had to step out of the game. Um, so we had a new player come on who, um, according to Naba and stuff, you know, and, and he's, he's a good player. Uh, I would say, uh, you know, he might even be a little bit better than the old album, but not sure. Obviously very difficult to tell, but Naba said he was very good at rating. Naba said he had a hard time with rating in that particular instance. Um, and, uh, there's Naba doing some raids. This is me going into the dead forest, uh, in which I'm going to attack his, uh, his throne province. And, uh, this should be a slaughter, but I will probably lose some dudes. Uh, not many, just lost two knights, not a big deal. Um, so, uh, over here, the, uh, Iron Angel is gonna go ahead and, like I said, just poof away, because he's got the, uh, the blessed armor, whatever it's called, that makes you return on damage. So, nothing happens there. Uh, here in Shadow Glade, I, I have no memories to what happened. Um, this is a little raider force. I don't know. I wonder who wins this. It's actually... I think I think he would win this. Yeah, he, he's gonna win this. Oh, especially if he's got legions of steel. Jesus. But yeah, he's gonna win this battle. But, you know... My, my Amazons always do their best, you know? They always put in a good effort. This is a triple sweep. Yeah, Legion of Steel is a good spell. Oh, Destruction. That's cool. That's always a cool spell. Hmm. So anyway, eventually they do break. Um... But, hey, they killed two, so good job for them. Now, the Mines of Despair, I don't think he had anything left in here. Yeah, he had, like, nothing left. So, that was kind of disappointing. Very anticlimactic. Uh, da, 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 some stuff happens. Very cool. Some shenanigans going on in Ulm, which is curious. Um, we've, we've breached the, uh, the throne uh, fort. And, uh... Oh, no, he breached the, uh, the throne fort, and, um, we breached the other one. So, so he juked us. He juked us good. So, uh, Sabrina's gonna break the siege, and we're gonna send in the reinforcements from here. Uh, same song, you know, first verse, you know, second verse, same as the first kind of deal. Uh, as we're gonna go ahead and fight this massive army. Um, let's, if we take a look at it again, um, we can see over a thousand troops. This is a big boy army, and he's got lots of guardians, so very big boy army. Now, problem, a lot of them are starving and have diseases, so that's a problem. But otherwise, man, like, this is a spooky army. Lots of mages. Um, he's got, like, troll kings and stuff, so, you know, queen of, of storms, so... We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. Now, if we take a look here, uh, yeah, and you can see I'm sending in more troops to reinforce it. Um, because I did lose a couple guys. Um, we're kind of hanging out. Uh, continuing to send troopers everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and send this guy to go ahead and raid this province, because this province is worth a lot. I mean, two, 294 is... That's a healthy province, my friend. Um, I would like that province very much. So, we're going to do that. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, right here, we're going to go ahead and siege this. For reasons that I do not vividly remember. Oh, yeah, we don't actually break this province. This province is not sieged down. I lied. I don't know why I hallucinated and thought that it was. But this province, the, uh, the walls are broken. So we're going to go ahead and try and fight off this colossal screw you army. And uh, send in some troops to reinforce. Big fat army. We'll see how it goes. Um, we've got... Ah, yeah. 
one thing I forgot to mention is that I forged uh, the the Sword of Injustice, which gives you a plus one to Priest. So with that away, my Mound Fiends can now uh, claim Thrones. So he's going to go ahead and claim the Outer Throne, which is going to give me a nice Astral Gym boost from 13 to 16, which is pretty good. Uh, Voice of Tiamat is going to get cast right here, I think. So that's going to be nice. Forging of the Star Sign Skull Cap. Yeah, we forge a lot of items at around this point in the game. Um, and in particular, you're going to see that we're going to start forging like uh, the Tome of Gaia and lots of stuff like that to try and build up unique items because we want to get as many of them as we can before other people start seizing them. Uh, as far as score graphs go, things are looking good. You can see everybody basically who's at war with Ulm is, is having a, a good time. Uh, I'm having the worst of the good times. My, my, my slope is the worst because I have to actually fight Ulm. Um, but so it goes. You can see the coalition doing very, very, very well. Um, oh no, this is because, uh, never mind. This has nothing to do with that. This is because, uh, Well of Misery got cast, and Well of Misery increases everybody's, um, stuff there. So, uh, provinces wise, everything's kind of blah, but big wins for Naba, but Naba seems to have slowed down a lot. And, uh, I know Naba does not have, like, most of his army is just, like, archers and stuff. Like, he does not have a real army. Um, He's got like one good army, and that's it. Um, Research-wise, I'm, I'm doing okay. I've got a good gym income. Um, so, yeah, we can see Well of Misery's gotten cast, so. I would like to I would like to have Well of Misery, but so it goes, so it goes. Uh, we're still generating a lot of death gems. So, and we've got all these water gems, and that's about all I got going on. So yeah, so sadly, you're gonna have to turn in for the next episode to see what happens at this throne. I know that sucks, right? I'm a bad person that I would leave you hanging like that, but that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's really too much else going on. We're just um, we're moving these troopers on over to here. Part of which is so that they can do some site searching, right? Some voice babsus and, and some uh, dark knowledges and stuff like that, um, which is gonna be helpful. And uh, these guys are just gonna go ahead and maintain the seas. Poor Sire Wolf, man. He's, he's just, he saw on the struggle bus, but fortunately he's got, you know, he, he's got that uh, that bonus from, from uh, what was his heroic ability even? Iron Will, that's right. It's actually not a bad one considering the fact he's always gonna be in the back of the battle, so. Uh, but you can see his magic resist is, I think a little down. I don't know, I guess not. Uh, it's not that bad. It's only it's only because there's a little bit of, of enemy dominion. If he gets some more of uh, friendly dominion, it's actually going to pump up his magic resistance even more than the the magic skills will hurt him. But anywho, uh, you can see that we're sending in some um, some water lenses and some uh, some gate cleavers to go ahead and burn down these uh, these fortresses as fast as we can. Uh, and yeah, you can see that uh, Naba is just taking all this land. Oof. Uh, but yeah, we're doing okay. We're, we're getting swole. Um, we're sending in more liches, more troops, reinforcing. People are getting gemmed up. I don't even know what this dude's doing. What is this dude doing? Oh, he's going over here? What are you going to cast? Thunderfin. I don't really know if that needs to be a turn one thing so badly that I risk getting... Uh, getting horror marked, but I guess I decided to do that. Oh, that's interesting. I forgot that it increases your spell range. Two per pro plus two provinces. Interesting. Um, I forgot about that. Still forging some Lightless Lanterns, still trying to get our research up. And uh, some Skulls of the Mentors, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not, but yeah, there's really not much else going on. Um, oh, another spell that's going to get cast is Heat from Hell. Uh, with Heat from Hell being the idea um, because I'm already going to have fire fend up. Uh, it's, that's basically going to nullify fire, uh, uh, heat from hell, fire fend well, and, uh, it should screw with his guys real bad. Um, this is once again, one of these situations where it's like, with all the different things I'm going to be casting, did I decide to cast foul vapors or did I just ever give up on that dream? I feel like I shouldn't have. Let's see if I did or did not. Uh, I do not know. I don't think I, oh yeah, I got Foul Vapors going. It's like, 
But Foul Vapors and Heat from Hell, Fog Warriors, Master Generation. I keep, I'm, I don't know, I'm losing faith in Howl. Um, with, uh, with all these spells, I'm not casting Mass Protection. Um, with Thunderstrikes coming down, all this kind of stuff, I kind of feel like I'm going to win. Oh, Weapons of Sharpness. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm going to win the battle even without Master and Slave. But we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm going to have lots of these guys who are going to be casting Mind Duel to try and pop any Astral Mages he has so that, that way I can protect my uh, my god. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but anyway... Oh! One thing I forgot to mention is that I forged this item. The Amulet of the Doppelganger. And I foolishly put on uh, Boots of Seven Miles Tribe. So the, the thing about the Amulet of the Doppelganger is it gives you the ability to seduce. Which is nice. Because I would really like to have some of his Master Smiths. I would really like to have that. Uh, but what I forgot is that you have to be able to fly in order to take a unit away that you're not adjacent to. Like, if you're not adjacent to your own territory and you try to seduce, um, then I think it just kills the unit. It doesn't really give you anything. So, I need to switch out her, bo her boots for, for boots of, of flying. I don't do it, um, for a little while, but that is something I do need to do in my time. Um, so that way she can seduce Master Smith take him back to our province and then he can forge me stuff it's going to be on the low low as far as prices go so that's kind of what we got going on taking this province uh we got the iron angel going over here to take this province and everything's basically going okay um i don't even know what you're forging forging what i don't i don't, I don't know what you're forging but anyway there's a ton of stuff to forge they forge all kinds of stuff, man. Like, I ain't gonna get into it. Arcane P. What is that? I don't know. Uh, usually, though, I'm using this guy to forge different tomes and stuff, so you can see, like... I thought I had him forging the tome of, of Gaia, but I guess he's gonna do it this turn. Uh... He did forge, he is the one who, I'm pretty sure, who forged um, the, the Amulet of the Doppelganger. But, who knows? Not sure. In any event, uh, lots of ground being gained. Big, fat, gigantic, screw you army that we're going to be fighting up against next episode. So, I hope you guys come on by and watch it. Uh, in any event, I have been the last, gosh, I gotta get over saying in any event. Uh, but, I've been the last pretender. See you guys next time.